morning guys welcome back to my channel today we are gonna go fishing now I've brought Ella with me say hi, hi. happy Easter happy Easter so again before we start happy Easter to everyone out there all my friends and family I hope you're having a safe safe holiday uh, just one word about with everything that's going on uh, I encourage you all to read between the lines having said that we are fishing today trying to give her mom a break because uh, as you know is when I work four days that means Jen has this little ball of fire for four days that doesn't want to stop so we're gonna try and catch some crappie try and catch some bluegill uh, apparently the crappie are in but so far I haven't had much luck I'm gonna switch over to my chest mount camera because I do not want to get worm and minnow all over this one and hopefully we can catch some fish all right guys chest cameras on I'll show you what I'm using I got a uh, 1 8 ounce jig tipped with a Berkeley minnow. I got my float about 24 inches above the bait, so don't have to go very far. I can't tell you, it has been slow this morning though. This creek is loaded, loaded with largemouth bass. The bass season doesn't open until the end of June. So you can't target them. I do have a uh, small 3 8 ounce spinnerbait that I will throw to try and get the crappie. The problem is you can't keep the bass off it, if you can call that a problem. A lot of people are enjoying the sunshine today, but I don't think there's many fish being caught. Well, you all didn't see that, but uh, I just fell in the water. <laughs> uh, I can tell you that water is cold. Damn! Wasn't that something? All right guys, so I just turned the camera off because I was gonna go switch to spinnerbait. The big rock I was standing on decided it didn't want to stay there anymore and it went for a swim and then I went after it. Have a look. I can tell you, that water's pretty cold. I got wet feet, wet legs, up to the knees, which isn't bad. I guess it could have been a whole lot worse. I could have went right in the drink, but I'm thinking I should go home, change my clothes and wash my feet, but Ella says she wants to keep fishing. The spot we were actually going to go to, I see uh, just emptied up. So we might have to hit that before we go home. Keep fishing. Go. We're at a different spot here down by the end of the canal. The water's a whole lot shallower, so I'm going to bring the float down to about 12 inches. Let's see if we can get something to bite on this. This is a nasty end of the creek here. I was fishing here the other day and there was a bunch of wood, a lot more wood than this back in here. And I was fishing in the pockets. Problem is there's only largemouth bass in the pockets. If you can call that a problem. My feet are froze, I'm not gonna lie. My feet are froze. I can't believe the amount of garbage and dead fish in here. So we're always talking about the pockets. You see this old tire here? Hopefully you can see that tire. Move it down a bit. There's a pocket right there. I'm thinking the fish might be hunkering down because of this weather front coming tomorrow. Apparently we're supposed to get some pretty bad weather tomorrow here in southwestern Ontario, so they may not be wanting to bite nothing. 
do have to be careful. You will get snagged up real easy. I'm going to try my best not to fall in the water again. I'm not sure you all saw that, but that bluegill was running from something. Yeah, folks, I don't know if you can see him. I'm not sure I'm pointing in the right spot. But right along that log, there's about a pound and a half, two pound largemouth bass sitting there. He's just cruising around. He's not doing a whole lot. Now, legally, we cannot fish for that largemouth. Like I said, they're out of season. If they bite what you're throwing, there ain't much you can do about it. But you gotta immediately release the fish back, which only makes sense. Sorry about the farm work going on behind me here. So again, I'm just fishing these little open pockets. <clears throat> we have a shad die off here every year. So if you're wondering what all the dead fish is about, every year the shad die off. Well, Looks like it's burgers tonight, no fish. Pretty interesting watching that bass just kind of cruise around, not interested in anything, nor was I trying to catch him, but he just looked like he was just hanging out. But I only saw the one, which is kind of odd. The other day when I was in here crappy fishing in this very same spot, I couldn't keep the bass off the line. They were just hitting that little minnow like it was nothing. Today, again, we got a, a major weather system rolling through tonight and tomorrow supposed to bring a lot of rain and some wind so maybe that's why they're just kind of hunkering down anyway I got wet feet up to the knees I want to go home fire up the barbecue because like I said it's burgers not fish see you in a minute Well, I didn't record an outro for this video yesterday. I actually shot all this footage yesterday until today. We sat down to eat, and I just shut the camera off after that, and that was it. Uh, I guess... I guess what it comes down to is we're all in the same position. We're all in the same boat. Well, 99% of us are. And let's look back five months. What has changed? I guess back three months, if somebody would have asked if the position we are in today, do you think that's possible? I'm betting that nine out of ten people would have said that's not possible. Yet here we are. If we're going to look for the good in something like this, we find ourselves checking on our family a whole lot more. Um, three of my kids are grown and gone. Uh, Ella's still at home. We're constantly checking on them. Uh, calling my parents and my sister all the time, making sure they have everything they need. Uh, Jen's parents, checking on them. We bring them what they need. We're seeing long lines at grocery stores, things of that nature. So I guess if you're going to look for the good, we have to look at the fact that we're now paying more attention to our family. Yes, internet consumption is up. And it's probably up quite a bit at our house. But... Uh, we're all paying attention to our families a whole lot more. 
and we do need to take care of each other and that's what I see happening a mere five months ago we took a lot of things for granted now we're realizing we shouldn't have so when this is all said and done hopefully we continue to take care of one another hopefully we continue to check on our parents and our family because if this has taught us one thing we've gotten away from that and we need to get back to that this video was kind of all over the place I started out making a fishing video but I quickly realized something else was going on here and that's finding the goodest of what's going on barbecuing oh man that barbecue was good that burger was good so that's what I wanted to leave you with the moral of the story the moral of the situation we're looking out for each other we're talking to each other we're also fighting with each other but we're communicating that's what matters anyway that's all I got for today's video uh, again this video started out as one thing and ended in another and I'm okay with that happy Easter to all my friends and family happy Easter to all of you at home stay safe talk to each other I'll see you on the next one later Hi. Uh, if you hear stuff in the background that would be my dad's phone and playing on it um, have a happy Easter the coronavirus is going everywhere have a safe and happy Easter because today is Easter Eve which is the day before Easter I like to call Ooh. it Easter Eve <laughs> All right. are, are you done there? yes alright so Ella and I have decided to go fishing today and give her mom a break uh, well I'm at work for four days as you can see she's a bit of a handful